when the United States disengages from the region, it causes a number of our friends to either um, turn to other countries for support uh, or try to cut deals because I think um, American leadership is lacking. And so I would very much like it if we could have a return sort of to a bipartisan tradition of American leadership in the region. And I think that President Trump, uh, his foreign policy focusing on shared interests is the, is the best way uh, to help both the United States and our friends in the region. President Trump during his Riyadh speech talked about a principled realism that focuses on shared interests and does not spend all of its time lecturing uh, other countries in the region. Uh, President Biden called um, Saudi a pariah. And then here he is in his presidency begging for Saudi to increase its oil production. That is not a good look for the United States. So we should just understand that our friends in the region, and, and I mean Saudi, UAE, Israel, uh, Oman, Kuwait, the United States, the number of interests that we share are enormous. Economic prosperity, countering extremism, cultural exchange, standing up to common enemies. There is so much work that we can be doing together. And sometimes I think that the Biden administration looks at the Middle East through only two lenses, climate change and human rights. American foreign policy is much bigger than those two items.